Hey guys, how you doing? Today I'll be doing a short review or a, like a revisit of the Sony Xperia 5 which for me is one of the best phones uh, Sony ever made, one of the best smartphones uh, I just recently bought this phone again uh, I had it in the past but I, I bought it again, can you see? Look at the screen, it's amazing It's still amazing for 2022 Look at that, it's Full HD OLED It's 60Hz but the system is so fluid that Sony has, the Android uh, is so nice that it doesn't feel like it's 60Hz, it's 60 you know, it feels like it's like, I don't know, 90Hz or something but look at that and it's very compact phone as you can see it fits on your hand, it's like a chocolate bar as people like to say everything opens fast as you can see, it has the Snapdragon 855 still pretty good, you know I didn't feel any slowdowns or anything it, fe it feels much better than some uh, upper mid-range phones like today Look at that. The Instagram is really nice actually. When you use Instagram, you get a lot of content that fits in the screen because of the tall aspect ratio, you know. Which is pretty good. It's a nice it's a nice thing. Look, the screen is great. Uh there's nothing to complain about the screen. Perhaps the uh, only thing I would complain is the screen brightness when you go outside outdoors. But apart from that, look it looks great. If you don't believe me, I'll do a short benchmark here and you can see how much it gets. It's still really really fast for 2022. Look at that. Look at that. It's really fast. I don't I don't see any issues with that. And look at the screen quality, you know. It's just amazing. Look at that. The OLED is really nice. The screen accuracy is all the nice colors, you know, they're not overly saturated, they're really natural, just like Sony knows how to do. You know, they do the TVs, so they're really good at that. Look at that. Those are actually the wallpapers on the iPhone, I think, or the iPad. Oh the new iPad, I think. But look at that, how nice they look on the phone. And I only paid for this phone uh, $250. Can you imagine $250 for this in mint condition? Those are the, some pictures I took with it, but I will, sh I will show you more here on the screen. But look at the screen quality. I'm just doing this so you can see the screen quality for a phone of $250. Can you imagine another phone of the same amount that you can pay that has such nice screen quality, some, such nice fluidity? Look at that, I took this shot of the Xperia 5 A close up, it's like a macro shot, look at that Do you know? Do you know any phones for $250 that can do that? Look at that There's another picture I took as well It's really really nice I have some videos as well I uploaded to my channel to take in with the Xperia 5 Look at those, look at that picture For $250 I don't think you can complain much And that, it's using the auto mode and some editing Lightroom You know, you just know, you just need to know what you're doing it's really amazing, look at that. No slowdowns at all. Still working gestures, uh, running Android 11, you know. Sure, it doesn't have Android 12 anymore. I wish Sony updated at least for uh, another year, but Android 11 is fine, you know. The gestures are fine, nothing slows down, you know. I think the only bad thing about this phone would be low light features, maybe, you know, because you don't have the Photo Pro app like the newer Xperia's. But You can still customize your screen as you can see Loads of options there, you know uh, Customize your launcher, everything It's pretty good still I, I really like the display I think it's one of the main points of this phone The main strength is the display and the camera quality for the price Sure, the build quality is really nice as well Look, that's the Cinema Pro app You can still take some really nice movies with that You know Sure, it has some ad disadvantages Like you can't actually shoot uh, in SDR You can only shoot in HDR which is really bad for editing later, it's really annoying but still, look at that, I shot it with a $250 phone look at that this is a video I actually shot on my iPhone I'm viewing on the Xperia, but look at the screen quality it looks amazing, look at that, sh another video I shot with my iPhone 13 mini look at the screen quality uh, on the Xperia 5 for $250, the sound is really good as well you know for $250, I don't think you can buy anything else if you, if you don't mind having a used phone The battery is still really really good, I get a lot, around 6-7 hours of screen on time Which for a phone for 2019, it's really impressive and for $250 For that amount of money, I don't think you can find anything else, it's such a good deal Up to $300 even uh, Perhaps the only phone I would say, if you can find it uh, used in a good condition Would be maybe the Google Pixel 4 or maybe the Google Pixel 4 itself but I